Hey, what's up guys? This is Amazon's latest Eero 6 router, which is the dual band mesh Wi-Fi system. So this one actually comes with a router and an extender, and it's good for internet up to 500 megs. I'm gonna test that out, and it covers up to 3,000 square feet using the latest Wi-Fi 6, otherwise known as Wi-Fi AX standard. So we're gonna open this up and basically set it up and do some speed tests. I also got an additional Eero 6, and I'm gonna see if I can use Ethernet backhaul to actually connect them through an Ethernet cable to see if I can speed up the internet. So we'll open this up and set it up and everything and we'll do some speed tests. So this thing also has the Zigbee Smart Home Hub built in which lets you connect like smart home devices. Not every smart home device requires it but some do and this has it built in. So, okay, so this is definitely a smaller router. So this is the two auto sensing ports, USB-C is for power, nothing really on the bottom. This seems like a reset switch, maybe for a factory reset. And you also have, uh, this is the extender, which is basically just the USB-C. So notice you can't actually hook up ethernet to this. So this is gonna be a purely wireless system and that's why I actually bought the additional one because this one does have you know this is it's just like this one essentially but this is one that you could pretty much put anywhere this is essentially an access point and we'll do a size comparison because I also have the Eero Pro 6 so power adapters using 15 watts USB-C which is awesome I really like that the US USB-C and same thing here, 15 watts, so it's exactly the same power supplies. Surprisingly, oh, actually, I was going to say, like, they didn't include an Ethernet cable? I'm like, that's weird. They should have included one. Okay, so assuming this is a CAT6 Ethernet cables, so, and some instructions, quick start guide, safety, so, yeah, we're going to get it set up, and just as a frame of reference, this is the latest Eero Pro 6 router, so you could see the Eero Pro 6 is much bigger in size. And obviously this can cover more square footage than this. And if you guys are interested, I'll actually unbox the other one as well. Just while we're here. So this is the Eero 6 dual band, so it covers so it's recommended for internet with speeds of 900 megs, so minus 400. I usually get a little bit more than that, but I'm gonna test this out, and it's for 1500 square feet. Again, Wi-Fi 6, it's exactly the same as that unit, essentially. Yeah, so this one's supposed to have the Zigbee Smart Home Hub built in as well. So same type, exactly the same thing. And this is like this mesh material where it doesn't slide. Well, it slides a little bit, but not much. But it's not super heavy. Again, two auto sensing ports. So I'm gonna try an ethernet bot call with that. And let's see what, yeah, so this is the same power supply, USB-C. So again, 15 watts. And probably the same thing there. So you have a CAT6 ethernet cable and some manuals and stuff. Okay, so let's set this up and we'll do some speed tests and I'll give you guys my thoughts and just how well it works and set it up. So you're gonna set it up on the Eero app on your phone and this is the iPhone 12 Pro so it has wireless AX. I'm also gonna do speed tests with just a wireless AC device because obviously to get the full benefits of this router, you should have wireless AX devices, but it's compatible with wireless AC. So I'm gonna do all of that. So let's get this all set up. So I've been playing with the Eero 6 router and the extender and stuff and another Eero 6 router. Essentially, I hooked it up in different configurations to see all, and I did speed tests and all of them. So I'll get into all those options that you have with the mesh Wi-Fi, but really quick, I just wanted to show you guys a speed test right now. So this is the iPhone 12 Pro, which has wireless AX built in. And because this is a wireless AX router, I should get really good speeds with this. So my internet service provider is 400 megabits per second down and 20 megabits per second up. 
And so I got 451 down and I'm pretty much getting around 20 up, which is what I expect. The best I got out of this thing was around 480 down. But overall, I'm getting more than what my ISP is rating, so that's a good thing. Now, I'm going to show you guys on the wireless AC device, which is going to be a tad bit slower. But this is my iPad Pro 3rd generation, which is a wireless AC device. So, it's not the latest in the wireless standard, obviously. But, it still gets pretty good speed. So, you can see I'm getting basically 430 down and 20 up. So, pretty good numbers. Okay, I'm gonna go with the four options that I explained on the Eero Pro 6 and the Nest Wi-Fi videos previously. So, option one, you get an Eero 6 router and you hook it up to your modem. You can hook up any one of the ports, it does not matter, they are auto-sensing ports. So you could either hook up this one to the modem with Ethernet or this one to the modem with Ethernet, does not matter. And then, with option one is basically just a router by itself. So I don't actually, because this is a mesh Wi-Fi system, people typically get more than one, but you don't have to. You could actually just get one of these and it could be a router for your entire house. But obviously, you know, they there's an advantage to getting mesh Wi-Fi systems. But option one, you basically just get this by itself. And if you need more Ethernet ports, you would just hook up the other Ethernet port to a switch and then from the switch you could hook up all these other things. So when I did a speed test with this, which is basically what I just did now, because I have the other stuff disconnected, the fastest I got on the iPhone, again, which is a Wi-Fi 6 or wireless AX device, so it has the latest standard, I got 482 megabits down, 22 megabits up. On the iPad, again, which is a wireless AC device, I got 449 down and 22 up. So again, it's faster than my ISP, pretty good settings. This is if I'm really close to the router, just like I was in the test I show you, showed you guys. Option two, you hook up a router and a Eero 6 extender. So both of these support wireless AX, but essentially this is your main router. This goes, you know, any one of these ports doesn't matter, goes to the modem, gives it internet access, and the other side goes to a switch if you want to hook up you know more things through ethernet but this is basically just a usb power so this one that you can't put ethernet on this thing this thing just wirelessly extends your network so i did speed test with this and for all the options that i'm going to cover when you're really close to this Eero 6 router you're pretty much going to get those really good numbers that I, you know, I just demonstrated. So at best, you're going to get like, in my case, I'm going to get like 480 down, 22 up. And with the iPad, I'm going to get, that was with the iPhone. With the iPad, I'm going to get 449 down, 22 up. So again, in all the configurations, when you're close to this main router, you're going to get the best possible speeds. So the speeds that I tested that I'm gonna say on the screen is basically when I'm close to the other extender or the other router. So with option two, when I'm close to this, the fastest speed that I got from this on the iPhone was 190 down and 21 up. And with the iPad, I pretty much got very similar, 186 down and 22 up. So pretty much half, less than half the speed I was getting, you know, so if I'm walking around my place, I get close to this, the best possible I'm gonna get to is basically a little under 200, whereas when I'm close to this, I can easily get over 400. So you're cutting your speed by more than half by connecting to this. Okay, so option number three, which is the best option, is when you get two Eero 6 routers and you hook them up to each other through ethernet. So, explanation. You hook up, this one becomes your main router, your gateway router, and this one goes to your modem. From the other slot, you basically either go to a switch, and then from the switch you come to this router, or you just go from this directly to this through an ethernet port. So essentially these two are connected through ethernet, which is called ethernet backhaul. And with this configuration, you're gonna get the fastest possible speeds, no matter if your device is close to this guy, or this guy. So again, you're gonna get those 480 down at best numbers and 22, 23 up 
with those numbers. So essentially, this is going to give you the absolute best configuration. Option number four is using both of these again, except now they're wirelessly connected to each other. So if this is your main router, this is hooked up to the modem or the gateway router. This is hooked up to the modem. You know, if you need more Ethernet ports, you could hook this up to a switch and, you know, wire up some stuff. But this is not directly or indirectly connected to the main or gateway router through Ethernet. So this is basically acting just like this, exactly like this, where, you know, I just go somewhere in my place and then I pretty much plug in the USB-C power and boom, it's wirelessly connected. So with these speeds, when I was close to this router, which is wirelessly connected, I pretty much got the same exact speeds as the Wi-Fi extender. So these two were pretty much identical to each other in speeds. So with option number four, when I was close to this, I got 192 megabits per second down, 19 megabits up with the iPhone, and with the iPad, very close, uh, 180 megabits down and 20 megabits up. A recap, option three is the fastest, followed by option four, closely followed by option two, and option one is basically just a router by itself. Okay, so a few things that I also tested on, I did a local network copy. So I basically have a network attached storage, which is a Synology DS220 Plus, if you guys are wondering. That is sucked up to the router through a switch, so it has gigabit ethernet hooked up. So when I transferred something from that to the iPhone 12 Pro, which again is a wireless AX device, I basically got an average copy rate of 50 megabytes per second. So if you multiply that by eight, you get 400 megabits per second. Another thing to, that I noticed about the Eero 6 is that when I went farther away, um, when I was 30, so I went outside, I closed the front door, and the best possible option where it was option three, I was getting pretty fast speeds. I was getting 300 down with the iPhone 14 up. And with the iPad, I was getting 215 down and 14 up. But when I moved like, you know, 40, 50 feet away, that dropped uh, significantly. It pretty much dropped to around 160 down with the iPhone and 12 megabits up with the iPhone. And with the iPad, I was, it was crawling. It was basically at 14 megabits per second down and 12 megabits per second up. So obviously, and you know, different houses, different places, different areas, dif there's different walls, different people have different internets and stuff, different radio interference. So this is basically all places are gonna differ. They're gonna vary, the results are gonna vary, but I'm just showing you guys what I got. So comparing that to just really quick, comparing that to the Eero Pro 6, which I tested yesterday, and you can see that the Eero Pro 6 is much larger, it also has much faster, this is AX4200, where this is AX1800, but this thing goes way farther. And I'll actually do a comparison between these two as well in another video, if you guys are wondering. But I just wanna just quickly say that the Eero Pro is much better when you're going far away. Okay, so what are my final thoughts? You know, is it worth getting this router? I think for the price, it's pretty good. Obviously, there are better routers out there, like the Eero Pro 6 is definitely better than this. But, you know, considering that this is much cheaper, and, you know, if you don't have crazy fast internet speeds, I think it's gonna be fine. Especially if you hook up, you get two of these, and you do, like, the option three setup, I, I think you're gonna be good. Range-wise, it's, it's pretty okay. I, I, I would say it's decently good range. Uh, speeds were consistent, everything was good from that aspect. A few things like that could use some improvement was the app, a little bit buggy when it was showing wirelessly connected even though it was a wired connection between this and the other router. And I did have to restart it a couple times for it to work properly. But once I did that, I, it, it was fine, it worked fine after that. So initial setup, you know, I had to restart it twice and then and then after that it was good. You guys might not need to do that, but for me it wasn't working properly until I did. 
But overall, I think for the price, you're getting a pretty good router. You probably will need a switch with any of these new mesh Wi-Fi systems if you guys need more Ethernet ports. But yeah, overall, it's pretty good. If you guys enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. I have a whole bunch of videos coming up. I'm going to compare these two, the Eero Pro 6 with the Eero 6. I'm going to compare, uh, you know, this thing with the Nest Wi-Fi. This is a wireless AC router that Google made and, you know, came out like a year ago or so. So that's pretty much the latest that Google offers. Google will probably come up with the AX router as well, but that's the latest that Google offers now. So, and I'm also going to do like tutorials on how to do these connections step by step, super detailed. I did something very similar for the Nest Wi-Fi. A lot of people thought it was useful, so I'll definitely do that for this. And I also ordered the Netgear Orbi, so whenever I get that, it's... It was said it was kind of delayed, so hopefully they send it out sooner. But as soon as I get that, I'm also going to compare this, uh, this specifically with the Netgear Orbi because it's more in line with this in terms of performance and price. But I have a whole bunch of videos coming out and a whole bunch of tech videos, so be sure to hit that subscribe button below. If you guys have any suggestions or questions, please let me know in the comment sections below. Thank you guys for watching, and thank you to all my current subscribers.